This chunky little device is an audio isolation transformer for getting rid of um, electrical noise from audio signals and uh, it is, as far as I'm concerned, it's a get out of jail free card. It's fantastic. It really uh, can solve a lot of major audio problems in audio visual installations. And it's designed for use primarily where you've got uh, non-balanced audio signals. Let, let me actually do a wee doodle of this and show you what I mean here. If you've got uh, an audio player, so we'll just actually just write audio player, and then you've got the audio cable going to an amplifier, so we'll just call that amp, and then to the speakers, and these are plugged in to, you know, they might not, they might be next to each other, they might not, but even when they're both plugged into um, sockets that are close to each other, you can end up with very tiny voltage differences in the on the earths. It just leakage. And because audio signals are very low, that current can end up going along the sc screen, well, which is like the ground reference of the um, phono connectors, and it can cause hum. You know, you can basically get a slight mains voltage difference at 50 hertz or 60 hertz, and it causes hum. And, and another thing it causes this is some, some of the equipment is not earthed. Um, it's double insulated and inevitably, like, think of your laptop, for instance, that, you know, your laptop might not have an earthed mains adapter. So they've got that situation where the live neutral is covered across the transformer inside the switch mode power supply with the little capacitor. And you'll end up with all weird electrical hissing noise, like the switch mode noise and mains, just a whole mishmash of noise. And it can find its way across this cable and it can basically be interpreted as audio and it can create hum and noise. Now, in professional installations, they use what's called a balanced audio signal, which is the actual two wires um, with uh, often an inductive uh, coupling, a little transformer in, in the input, so completely isolated from the chassis. And then they'll have a screen around that. And even then, you can get audio issues caused by high current flow between, you know, if you had two separate parts of the building, even different substations, which is a very tricky area, you can get quite high current flow even along the audio screen and that can cause problems. So one of the techniques around that is what they called lifting the lifting the ground. Now, there are various interpretations of this. The official lifting of the ground is when the audio cable has its screen bonded at one end, so usually the amplifier end or the receiving end of the audio signal. So it has the screen bonded to the case at that end, but not at that end. And these aren't mains voltage cables, these are just signal cables. And that means that for the whole run of the, the cable, the screen is referenced to the receiving end. It's not, got, it's not actually allowing a current flow. And that is what's called lifting the ground. It's just breaking that little link at that end. Some of the, you get plugs with ground lift switches in them, which are, are quite handy. The wrong way to lift the ground is to cut the earth out the plug. Some people do this. It's mind-blowingly dangerous. It's so stupid, it's unbelievable. But there are some audio experts who believe this is still a done thing. It's not. Because what happens then is that if these things are all connected and you've cut the earths off, then as soon as something goes wrong, as soon as some, a, a transformer fails, a component lands across a live connection, it's not, there's no, there's nothing to blow the fuse. Suddenly all the audio circuitry becomes live. And this is where these situations where people have been holding a guitar an electric guitar, and then they've grabbed hold of a microphone and they've been electrocuted because, you know, current has flown between two parts of the audio circuitry because there, there wasn't a good um, earth return path uh, to actually properly uh, trip the fault, trip the breaker. So, anyway, this, though, is for the likes of us with non-balanced audio uh, cables, and this is an, another great solution. What this does is... It takes your audio signal from the source and it effectively does this twice and it goes through a quite a high impedance little transformer coupled across to the, the secondary side and that's audio in and audio out. And the AC audio signal is coupled across. Um, it will theoretically, the audio purists will say it affects the fidelity, it affects the frequency range, but to the likes of you and me, 
Um, it's, it's going to pass perfect audio but to, to all intents and purposes. It's, it's rated probably from about 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, although it's probably not flat uh, frequency response. But what it's doing by isolating it through a transformer here is it's putting a barrier so that no current, no mains current can flow, no leakage can flow from one side to the other. So I, uh, at my previous place, I had my laptop connect to quite a big amplifier and it caused terrible noise when it was plugged in. And I used one of these to fix that because it was that situation that the leakage from the switch mode power supply, all that hissing, swirling, mainsy noise was just going straight through the audio cable into the amplifier. And as soon as I put this in, it just solved the problem instantly just by isolating the two bits of equipment. So let's take a look inside and see what's inside it. I can see this is kind of heat shrunk together. So I'm just going to slip that. If you do general audio visual installations, this is something you're, you're probably already familiar with. Um, and it's the sort of thing that's just great to keep in your toolkit. Is that actually a metal case? That's a, I've never seen one in a metal case before. This must be the posh luxury version. And some cellar tape in the middle. Can I just break that? Yes, I can. Blimey, they've really gone to town in here, haven't they? So there's the two transformers. I wonder why they've got the foil bridging them like that. That's quite odd. Oh, this is uh, also intended for car use as well. Uh, I'm not an expert in car audio. I don't know how often you get uh, noise coupled. I guess, you know, noise picked up in the car's ignition sort of wiring is going to cause a problem. It may well be, you, you know, the differential between the the 12 volt system in the car. So it's fundamentally the two transformers and they've got the input side is just going to one side of the transformer and the output side is coming out the other side and that's fundamentally it. It's quite unusual. I wonder what the foil across the top's for. How odd. I don't know what that's doing. Would it have any effect? I'm not really sure why there's foil on that. Um, if there are any audio experts and uh, watching, they can leave a comment down below if they have any idea what this foil, particularly when it's in a metal enclosure. That seems quite odd. Yeah, it's strange, the metal enclosure. That uh, provides extra sort of magnetic shielding as well. That, oh, that's, of course, that's what it's for. It's to prevent external magnetic coupling from the outside. Oh, this is good. That's very good. Yeah, that's quite interesting. But I wonder what the foil... I, I don't 100% get the foil aspect. Yeah, odd. Unless, ultimately, it might just be, and that's maybe going too far, it might just be where the two halves of the case join. It's just to make sure that there's absolutely no space for the magnetic interference to get in. But yeah, this is one of the best I've ever actually opened. Uh, all the other ones I've had have been plastic, and they've been functional, they've been fine, but uh, this one is the first metal one I've had. But um, yeah, that's... Uh, these things definitely uh, they're definitely a toolbox uh, necessity in the audio visual industry they can they can get you out of uh, pickles when you've got uh, noise that you know hum and uh, interference that you just can't get off equipment these can provide a, a quick answer